Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is a proper subset. So, all sets are subsets of themselves. Hopefully, this is very intuitive. If a set contains exactly the elements of some set, then necessarily all of the elements of the first set the first set contains are elements of the second set. However, sometimes we want to talk about the idea of a subset, which is only part of the larger set. This is called a proper subset. It is only part, not all, of the larger subset. It's what we might generally mean when we would use the word subset in daily language to denote that something is smaller than the larger piece. So, in other words, a proper subset is simply a subset that is not identical to the larger set. For example, the class of trilateral polygons is a subclass of the class of triangular polygons. But we can show, using the axiom of extensionality, that in fact these are the same class since they contain exactly the same members. All things that have three angles have three sides, if they're polygons. Therefore, the class of trilateral polygons is not a proper subclass of triangular polygons, nor vice versa. On the other hand, the class of sub-Saharan African countries is a proper subclass of the class of all African countries. This is because while all sub-Saharan African countries are African countries, not all African countries are sub-Saharan African countries. For example, Morocco, Egypt, and so on. There are a couple of ways that proper subset or proper subclass can be shown. Often you will see kind of a backwards implication sign or the, in other words, the subclass sign without a line under it. Imagining it similar to the greater than less than signs basically and getting rid of the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to part of that. Or you'll see the same sign as a normal subclass but with a slash through that bottom line to denote a proper subset or a proper subclass. So as not to confuse this symbol with the symbol for implication, we're going to use the one that has a slash on the line under it, but we want to make it clear that both of those exist and are out there. It is going to be defined as follows for all A and all B, if A is a proper subclass of B, that means by definition a is a subclass of B, and it's not the case that A is equal to B. Hopefully that's pretty clear and intuitive. This is going to be prop subclass definition in proofs. Up next, we're going to look at what pairing is and give some more very rigorous definitions of our curly brackets. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for the whole month of October here at carnades.org. Stay skeptical, everybody.